So in this video, we are going to discuss a new topic of OpenShift cluster. And uh, we have to understand some resources and some feature about OpenShift. So here we will discuss that if a new project is created and you want to allocate some resource automatically for an, any newly created project. So how is this possible? So we can create the project templates, uh, I mean project based uh, templates and whatever resource we will define in that template, it will automatically be implemented on every newly created project. For example, you know, by default, the users, the OpenShift user, the Kubernetes user are not, are not taking care of uh, resource limits. So they can consume the, your whole resources. Uh, so it is, it is possible for the cluster administrator to limit the memory and CPU and um, the number of resources they can create uh, on their specific project. So for that reason, what we can do, uh, there is a resource template that we can create and uh, we will create a resource template first of all. So we can use OC Adam command. Yeah, so OC Adam command is providing us create bootstrap project template. So create bootstrap project template, just do hyphen O Y A M L. This is a complete template. And we can create a resource by using this uh, manifest provided. And for example, I am just saving this uh, template uh, .yml. So this uh, template .yml is created. It's a Kubernetes, uh, it's an OpenShift resource template. It's not a Kubernetes resource. This is specially designed custom resource definition by OpenShift. So by, and this will create a project request name resource. You can change this name. And uh, here we can define our new resource that we want to enforce uh, on every newly created project. So what I will do, uh, for example, I want to limit the max number of pods creation by any newly created project. So, you know, we can use quota for this purpose. So, OC, uh, for example, I'm going to create quota hyphen hyphen help. And uh, you can see we can create a quota with these resource limits. I just an example from the help and I can say something like uh, quota uh, for all okay so this quota will be for everyone and this is and then I will do hyphen yml hyphen hyphen try run is equal to client and you can see this is the a complete manifest created for the resource quota. So I have not modified anything. I just use the default values, whatever I get from the example. So I will just go to my template and here I can simply put this resource quota uh, I want to create and I have to just to take care of the indentation So these are the resources I implemented. I mean, not more than two pods. The user cannot create a memory and CPU max, how much it is the user can consume. So uh, I just created this one. And uh, for example, I also want to create one more default resource, like uh, limiting the uh, amount of uh, CPU and RAM on on uh, any newly created pod. So how we can do, you know, in the administration, go to limit range. Just I'm creating a limit range from here. 
because by command line I, I cannot create the limit range there is no example that's why I'm taking leverage of this uh, GUI and I'm just implementing this limit range so just make sure the indentation is good okay so what i did i added these two resources in this template one is resource quota and one is uh, memory limit range you can add here cpu memory uh, cpu and uh, limits max min but i just set the default uh, and default request so this is the limit and this is the request value for the default and uh, for the memory i just did you can also do for the cpu i'm just giving you the idea how you can implement so you can do a lot of uh, resource management by default on the cluster level for every new project so but but i gave you just two examples here so here i just uh, modified my template with two new resources so what I will do now, OC apply this template in the namespace OpenShift uh, config. So you must have to implement, uh, apply this uh, template in OpenShift config uh, namespace. OC get uh, template in this namespace. You can see the project request is created and you can describe this to see what exactly this template is saying and its name is project request now we have to we just created the template but it is not applied so far for any newly created project so there is another resource OC get projects.config this is also an openshift specific uh, cluster wide uh, resource custom resource definition created by openshift and its name is cluster and uh, we can edit this one we have to edit this and by default under the specs there is nothing so we can define here project request template the t is caps and uh, under we have to define the name and the name of the template we created in openshift config namespace so then we have to save this and then after saving this setting oc get pod oc there is a namespace for the api server so that is running a pod and that pod will automatically be restarted when you will change make any change in this uh, cluster resource so oc projects you can grab uh, API let me check the name yes this is the openshift API server and OC get pod hyphen and in this name space so you can see the three pods are running because I have OC get node I have three master nodes so each master node is taking care of one uh, pod under this namespace so this uh, pod is taking care for that a lot of things but one of the resource i created also is taken care by this this part so it will be restarted when you will apply uh, any when you will do uh, any change in this resource so let's just do a watch and you will see after some time it will start terminating the existing part and will start the new one okay so here you can see the pods are terminating and it's uh, it will create the new pods okay it's uh, terminating it's starting the new pod and you can see the new pod is now running uh, one second uh, the 
this one is running rest of all are still trying to run so just uh, to make sure we have not make any mistake in uh, OC edit projects dot config uh, cluster so we okay it's done if you made any mistake here it will not apply the changes here and you will not see the pods are terminating and creating new pods so make sure the spell the case sensitive syntax it should be and the name of the template should be whatever you created in the open shift config so now i will again see okay one pod is up and running and uh, rest of all are also trying to so let me now create oc new project so for example i'm creating a project hello so you see oc project hello is created oc get limit range uh, so no limit range is so far created and uh, quota is also not created so we have to wait to restart all the pods and then we will see these resources are automatically created let me just check again still the pods are in pen and trying to start okay so now uh, two pods are started and third one is pending state it's mean only we have two healthy pods so request will only go to the healthy one so previously what happened one pod was in older state and one was in newer so when the request sent maybe it goes to the older one that's why it does not happen so now all the pods are restarted you can see their uptime and now OC new project uh, for example hello one okay OC get quota so you can see the quota is all automatically created whatever I defined in the template for the new project similarly resource limit uh, sorry limit range so limit range is also created let me describe describe this limit range memory limit range so it is same like we applied and uh, describe this quota so this is the quota created so now we have uh, implemented this whatever new project will be created it will follow this uh, request so let me now just test one thing uh, oc for example i'm creating a new port new for example f1 i'm creating i have an image nginx so oc not new it's run so quota is blocking this part to run so if i see the the quota is pod uh, it is blocking how it does it is blocking f1 is for your fail quota must specify cpu for f1 yes we must have to specify the cpu limit and range otherwise you cannot create so uh, this will enforce the user to uh, limit in the resources so now the resources whatever are created the limit range i showed you the name i defined in the template are static you can see this name is uh, static it will create the resource same like whatever name i defined here but i can also make it dynamic for example, I want to say uh, I can use this variable project name and hyphen quota. So whatever project will be created, it will take the name from the project and hyphen quota. 
and similarly here uh, memory limit I can say project name uh, memory limit okay so I will save this I will apply this again Let's see apply on F in the namespace open shift config and it is just applied and whenever new project will be will be created by any user so this template will be called whatever we define in the openshift config cluster resource so now we modified this now let me create a new project and uh, the new project i want to create from hello 2 see get limit range so you can see this time limit range is set to project name and then the name whatever I defined and uh, quota hello to quota so with this way we can manage our default so this is the leverage you uh, given by openshift it's not by default coming in kubernetes